Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty 1.3.0.5. something. And I'm here, and I know it's still night, and I generally try and move us on a bit. But um, I'm fairly sure on the map here, I found this little black spot as I was heading down back towards my village. I was deciding I've never been along this road, so I would check it out. I reckon that little black spot is a mine, because if we look on where my other mine is here, I believe, uh, I thought there was a little black spot, but that one's de there's definitely a mine there, but I know there's a mine over here somewhere, you see. Um, here, there's a mine here. Um, now I've not been to that mine in this playthrough, but I know because I built a village here once. So I know there is a mine here, and um, I think there's a mine along here. I know there's a couple of mines over this way, but mines mean one thing. Bears. Yes, discovered animal spot. Bear. That means there is likely a bear around here somewhere. I don't see one. Yet. But I suspect there is one around. So I need to keep my eyes peeled. There's a bunny. And here is a mine. Hmm. We don't see a see a bear, but I do see a mine. So let's uh, crack out the torch a second. There appears to be a stone pickaxe and iron ore. Nice! Oh, and I'll, I'll mention something else as well. At the end of the last episode, I had a bit of a weird crash, actually. The first time the game's ever crashed for me. And um, I had to go back and kill the wolves again and loot the little campsite down here again. And um, I found some extra bits, such as um, extra iron arrows, an iron knife, um, and a few a recurved bow, and a few other extra bits there. So that was a win. Okay. I thought I already had a bronze pickaxe on me, but I may not have remade the bronze pickaxe yet. So I'm guessing the stone one is the way to go. Um, I'm only going to mine iron if I find some. Tin deposit, copper deposit. What I'm interested in is to find out if there is iron in here. So, copper, tin. It's interesting. I'm almost read, uh, I'm almost tempted to wait till during the day because for some reason the mines are brighter during the day than they are at night. Don't ask me why a cave underground is brighter during the day than it is at night. But it is. Um, something to do with the graphics engine lighting, I guess. But yeah, I can find copper and tin again, which is great and all. So we know there's a mine here, but I do not see iron. It seems to me that iron must be something only... I'm wondering if there's no natural sort of deposits for it. Um, because I don't remember seeing any in any of the mines. I mean, it's good that we found a second mine, because I wouldn't mind setting up a second mine. I mean, it wouldn't really matter if I'd set it up in the same place, I think, given how the game works. But, um, you know, just for role-playing perspectives. Um, it's nice to have found a second mine. I mean, obviously, you know, if you set up a little outpost here, you could uh, bring the horse up and grab some bits and stuff like that. But ultimately, I'm guessing I need the actual mine mine to mine iron. It seem, I'm guessing that's locked 
behind the actual skill. Because under extraction here, you need to get to a mine. Now, I've got a funny feeling as there's no levels of the mine, that the only way to extract iron is that mine. So I have to find out, really. I've got enough iron ore to make a few things. I'm interested at how many iron ore it takes to make an iron bar. Um, you also ought to be a little bit careful because this is bear country. Um, and I don't want to get eaten by a bear. Because, you know, bear country. And they don't seem to like me very much. There is a bear there. Now, I could probably get away with it. I'm tempted to see if I can pop it off, actually. And I tell you what. I mean, this could be a terrible idea. Um, what's that? It's bronze arrow, okay. If I actually equip the iron arrows, how much damage do we think an iron arrow does with a recurve bow? Enough or not enough? Oh god, not enough apparently. Ow! Not enough, I was too slow. Okay. So, note to self, iron arrows, not going to fix everything. And there we go, fatal error. Game has crashed. So if you can see that, I'm not sure you can, it's in the same window. It says, Unreal Engine 4, Medieval Dynasty, game has crashed and will something, fatal error. So that will hopefully not balk the recording and I'll bring you back in. So we're back, and I am tempted to give it another go. Not sure if, how well this is going to go. I might need to... Whoa, run! Run a bit, 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 and get out of the way, and then try and uh, see if I can pick him off. Come on. Oh, I'm getting through the arrows. Where is he? Did he die? Where is it? I don't actually see the bear. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's still angry. He's still angry. Hitbox, hitbox. Oh yeah, got him. Got him that time. Victory! Okay, so I got a whole bunch of arrows to pick up. I'm not sure that the iron arrows are that much better. Because um, it did actually tell me somewhere. It said 45 damage, 55 damage. So not vastly better. I wonder if the... I mean, what does it say? It doesn't really tell you anything for the recurve bow, does it? Oh yeah, 45 damage. Versus a standard bow. Which is 35 damage. So, I think the question is... Other than a spear, which I guess like an iron spear might be putting out a large amount of damage. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and pick up all these bloody arrows now. In the dark. Arrows in the dark! From there. There's several down here. I don't want to waste my bronze arrows, you see. I'm willing to accept to have some acceptable losses here. But you know. One more. Where are you? I saw you. There you are. Okay, yeah, willing to have some acceptable losses on the arrow front. But, um, yeah, I w I'm wondering now 
whether um you know how much a spear does as i see there's now sort of like a damage rating i wonder how much an iron spear does or um something of a similar or even a crossbow i mean it doesn't seem to tell you until you make it how much damage it does um i'm tempted to have a look because crossbow bolts now i'm assuming a crossbow takes longer to load anyway we'll, we'll talk about this more and discuss this when i get back to the village as it's fairly dark at the moment oh and we're entering wolf country so i'll i'll see you back at the village because wolves tend not to be much of an issue as much of an issue as a bear so i'm back at the village and i'm a thinking about a new house as um as I pointed out before, we can't seem to find any actual um, ladies who can do the jobs. Um, I will again have... A, I mean, we've got the barn to go down there. I will have a look over in Denica in a minute. But I think my first mission is going to be to ensure things are getting done, at least for the winter farming. Which is going to be getting rid of this field, and then I'm going to place a new field. As I sort of talked about, the aim will be to create a new field that is, you know, the last one was five, so maybe, do you want to go ten by whatever? I mean, I want to increase the numbers here, but how much by? 10 by 16 that's 160 that's a lot I mean you can go 16 by 16 which would be vast um, I think in all honesty I'm gonna go with 10 by for the time being and get them working on it the other thing I'm tempted to do is really just because I want to see what happens I want to try this I'm gonna put a little one here um, I'm just gonna make it two by two yeah two by two because I'm gonna see we've got some I think we've got some apple seeds or something some fruit seeds I'd quite like to see the fruit the orchard stuff so we got some apple seedlings we got seven of them so I mean we could go bigger than 2 by 2 if we wanted to we could go what was it 2 by 3 um yeah let's go 2 by 3 I'm gonna go 2 by 3 just because, I don't know, it's something a bit different. We haven't done any of the fruits at the moment. I'm not sure how useful they are. I mean, if anything, you could actually put it here. Like that. No, that's two by four. That's two by three. Hmm. Interesting. Um, do I want to stick it there or do I want to stick it here? Yeah, I think I'll stick it there behind the herbalist hut. It kind of makes more sense actually. Sorry, I'm indecision there as to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I mean, I'm a bit thinking about putting it so close to the... Um, so close to the the thingy hut you know seems a little bit odd to put it that close to the herbalist hut but um you know be nice to have a few trees there i guess maybe screw it it's going there for now 
I can always remove it again later if I'm not happy with it. Um, I mean, otherwise you could just put it there, I guess. Let's have a look here. I wonder if I stuck it, like, here. I mean, it can't go there. It could go there. Right behind those people's ho ho house, but... Hmm... Sure. Actually, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to deconstruct this one. There we go. Okay. So, and I know that went out 2 by 4 but screw it. That's how it's go how it's going to be. So, what I need to do is assign something to those fields in order for them to get grubbed up. So, the field number 3 is big. And this one is going to be our winter rye. So we'll whop that out there. And tell them to get on with it. Get on with the winter rye. And then the other one is 2x4 and that's going to be our apples, our orchards. Which is not like that. So that is not how I do an orchard. I'm, I think I, think I used the wrong thing. See? Yeah, doink, there we go, get rid of that. I think I did the wrong thing, you see? Um, this is why we do it, so we learn. Wow, okay, orchards are bigger. So the temptation is to slap down a nice long orchard here, 1x7, one 1x8, by one by Hmm. Do I want to put it there or do I want to put it? Hmm. Sorry, people. I'm just trying to work out how I want this to go. I mean, I could put it a bit closer there. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of it being behind and sort of shielding the farm a bit from the animals. Um, one by nine is the l one by eight is the limit. So yeah, we'll go like that. And then it's a little bit down that way. Still a good reasonable space. And we've got a row of trees down. And then we'll make that apples. So if I go back to the farmland, I've got an orchard. I can select that. And how do I plant something in it? Uh, okay. Pass. Pass, how do I... How do I plant something in this? If I get... Have I got a hoe? Does it need to be grubbed up? Requires hoe to be grubbed up. Well... We'll leave them be for now. Um, I don't know if I can grub it up or not. Um, we'll see whether she's going to grub it up. She's going to grub it up. See? So we'll let her get on with it and we'll see what happens for planting like an orchard there. We'll let her carry on. So I have some missions to do. Firstly, am I still carrying my saddle or did I get rid of it? I think, no, I'm still carrying my saddle. Look, there's my horse, my horse, my kingdom for my horse. So, you will be called Steve, the mighty Ste Stallion Steve. Yes, yes, you shall be Steve. Nice, 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 good Steve, good Steve. Right, open saddlebags. Oh look, I can open saddlebags, you can carry 20, and I have no saddlebags on you. If I press E, I can saddle you up. There we go. Oh, uh, mount unlocked. Look at my mount. There we go. And we are mounted up. King Steve. <laughs> Open saddlebags now. 20. But, oh, that's what I didn't do. I didn't check on the price of bleeding saddlebags when I was there, did I? 
I'm almost tempted to go back and check my previous video because it probably would have been there in the price. Let's have a quick jump cut and a check. So through the magic of ed editing and a jump cut, we have discovered that the large saddlebag costs 854 smackaroons. Now 854 doesn't seem too bad. Um, I'll have to have a look at what my taxes will be. Now as you can see taxes are actually based on fields. You see so if you actually run less fields your taxes are a lot lower. Um, fields tend to really rack up the taxes so by getting rid of my field temporarily it severely reduced my taxes but I still expect them to go up to well, the three to four thousand mark the next question is how do I can I allocate something to this orchard now it's plowed no um, orchards food item Okay, how, how does this work? Priority one, cherry pie. Is this people demand control? Stored value. So this is, this is what people want the most. Oh, this is interesting. So this is what people want the most. People actually want potage more than they want meat with gravy. Who knew? Uh, onions are fairly long way down the list. Mead? People don't want the mead. Um, so, for some reason they're not big fans of rot. Who knew? So cherry pie is way up there. What about like, meat tart, multigrain bread, fish tart? What do we do with apples then or anything like that? I mean, I've got apple seeds. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs is up there. And I have eggs. Can I make scrambled eggs? That might be a good idea. I don't know if that produces more, more food. A bucket of milk. What are you having for tea? Oh, a bucket of milk. That'd be delicious. So apples obviously not very high up the list here I I you know I don't even see apples I mean there's apples there sorry so I do see apples but there's no like apple pie there's a fruit pie there's a plum tart um, so the question is how do we plant these things now we've saddled up got our saddling up done I, I'm also oh there we go hang on right Let's do one thing at a time, Seth. So I'm I'm getting like, well, I don't have ADD, but it's like you know I'm suddenly getting that way because I'm jumping between different things. Um, pear tree seedling. So what about pears? I've got pear trees. Um, have I got partridges to go in them? Um, no. So apples, cherry trees. I mean, cherries are probably going to be quite popular. I mean, none of this stuff I believe I can actually make at one of these. I mean, if you go to the other thing, you can make... Oh, no, you can't make a plum tart, a pear tart. I need to start making flour, which will be a whole um, interesting debacle in itself. Fish tart. Okay, so meat tart, onions, eggs, flowers, bucket of water. Okay, I've not got the technology for, well, any of these. Pie. What about pie? Any te enough technology for pie? Not enough technology for pie either. Who knew pie required such high technology? So really, fruit seems somewhat of a, somewhat of a waste at present. I mean, wheat roll. Um, okay. Flatbread. 
I mean, yeah, it seems also impossible to achieve. Right now, it doesn't seem like actually anything can be done with it. I mean, we can cook fish. Can you free up the cauldron a minute, mate? Sorry, buddy. Hello. Yes, go. Look, See leave it alone. Let me car let me tinker. Second. Cheese. Quark. Scrambled egg. You see, so I can do scrambled eggs. Three eggs. Three more mushrooms. And a bowl. So that can be done. But yeah, nothing else that really uses fruit like that. And everything else is miles away. I mean, it's an interesting screen that we can see these bits now. But I noticed that on the sort of fruit list, the plum juice, um, pear juice, apples, pears, plums, cherries are all way down the list. No one actually wants to eat the damn things. So, I mean, hmm. You know what? I am gonna stick down a couple, four apples and four pears, and then just have it as variety. That's what I'm gonna do. See if I can stick down four of those, and then uh, I'm, I'm guessing I can get rid of them later. I hope so. If not, I might live to regret this. <laughs> but um, the interesting thing is, you can't seem to grow mushrooms yet. You use more mushrooms for. Um, Oh, I've got a lot of wheat grain. Um, you use the moral mushrooms for the eggs and mushrooms. Which would be interesting to try that. I could always put the dude who's collecting almost no berries at all, collecting moral mushrooms. Um, right, what, what am I looking for? Why can't I see my pear tree saplings right there? Okay, I'm going to take those. And actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch this guy. You're going to give up on this because you suck. You suck at berries. Invalid season, yes, absolutely. But you suck at berries anyway. So give up. And you're gonna go hell for leather. Ah, more mushrooms. Ah, this is a pain in the butt. So what is in season? Invalid season, invalid season. I thought, aren't we in autumn? Aren't there mushrooms everywhere? So, board leaf? You can get board leaf. You can get day, um, daisies and all that sort of thing. Hmm. Okay. Let's just get him doing. Get some nightshade. I know that's invalid season. This is invalid season. Really? All of this invalid season? This invalid season? Alright. Do something useful with your time. Daisy's invalid season. Well, Daisy's actually, actually helped um, restore health, so... Fine with that. Berries are a waste of time. See, I would love it so that, you know, if it's an invalid season, he actually goes out and does something useful with his life. You know? Um, I'm going to put you up there on moral mushrooms. And then we'll see where we go from there. See how he gets on. So, I require a seed bag. Yeah, done. Consider a seed bag acquired. Orchard. Um, pear tree, apple tree, plum tree, cherry tree, hot plant. Oh yeah, I've got hot plants. But I can't make any... Um, I can't make any, what do you call it? Um, beers at the moment anyway, because a tavern is a long way away. But nonetheless... I consider this a valuable thing to do, just purely because, I don't know, it seems like a good idea. If I was a villager, I would be interested in having some fruit every now and again. 
It seems odd that they're not interested in having any fruit. That's it, get on with it. Plant, plant like the wind. I want that rye down, that winter rye. Okay, so I'm gonna knock up the barn here, and I'm probably gonna knock up another house. But before that, I'm gonna go down to um, Denica and see if we can find any more recruits. Um, actually, I was thinking to go over to Jessica because it's the one town I haven't been to now. Um, because we went over to Lesnica and that didn't work. So let's go to Jessica. Let's take the horse out for a ride. And can we go into full old... Why have I got no trousers on? I got no trousers on. What's happened? Why are my trousers not equipped? Um, where are my trousers? Have, have I put my trousers back in storage again? I did this earlier. <laughs> I've been wandering around the village with a... Okay, how do I get off the horse? Uh, how do I get off? How do I get off? How do I dismount? X. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry. Sorry, people. I've just realised I've been wandering around the village with no trousers on at all. And showing off my nether regions. I look fantastic. I'm sure they thought, what is he doing? He has lost his mind. I've dropped my trousers some, for some reason. Um, trousers? There we go. I should also, at some point, see if I can make myself some upgraded um, wear, you know. Like more noble wear. Put on some airs. Make myself look, you know. I do run the entire village now. I could, you know, I don't want to be a complete knob, but it wouldn't be bad. Um, okay. Are you drowning there? Are you okay? You Can you breathe? Okay, there we go. I'm just washing myself so that I, um, look the part. Okay, let's mount this horse. Let's ride. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Skyrim horses, here we go. Um, okay. Yeah, check it out. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. Oh, uh oh. Stuck in a tree. Stuck in a tree. Oh, this is a bit glitchy. There we go. That's screenshot time. I don't guess I can actually change my perspective at all. No. Okay, beautiful. I need the Black Beauty music, like... There we go. There we go. Screenshot moment. Okay. Let's do this so I can actually drive. I'm assuming... Ah, right. You, you don't drive with the mouse. You drive with the... With the keys. <coughs> See, can we go? Can we go fast? Oh, sweet! We can. We can actually rock it. I mean, I did um, take one thing of increasing the horse riding skill, so um, hopefully that is increasing my speed and stamina. And I'm going in completely the wrong bloody direction. <laughs> okay. Horse riding exploits ongoing and learning to ride. Um, oh crap! Oh crap! Don't kill my horse! Oh, she took a health hit there though. Um, okay, I'll bring you back in when I get to um, Jessica. Okay, and here we go, approaching Jessica. Um, I, I should really learn how the horse thing works. Plus, my riding skills are not great. But it's good to see that you might notice the horse's health was alright there. Its health regenerates as it goes along, so that is not too bad. Right, are you useful? No, you're not. Are you useful? Not terribly, but you're a farmer. Which means I can swap around some of the How other farmers. You? And 
I have a production, I have a farmer which can be a production person and we can swap people around and it'll all be good. So yeah, you can join and we will put her in the house with one of the fellas. Look, in fact, we've got, oh look, we've got three spots here that we can put ladies in. No spots to put gents. Oh, one has been selected at random. Um, now she can go and actually work the stable instead of, oh no, no, you can't go and work the stable because you're not the guy I'm going to replace. Um, you going to go and work the farm. You're going to replace um, this person who can do production jobs as a farmer and the farmer who's now not jobless um, needs to find something else to do which will be probably for now cooking so where are you the problem is you start getting to so many people and you start losing track of where they are this lady here we go Production. You are going. Oh, what? What's wrong with the sewing hut? The sewing hut's damaged again. Really? Okay, fine. The sewing hut is damaged again. Can the sewing hut be upgraded? Actually, it's sewing hut one. It should be upgradable to sewing hut two by now. I would have thought. Um, I am going to put you working in one of the jolly kitchens. Uh, that one will do. And hopefully that will mean that kitchen-wise, um, where we can produce a bit more. You're producing potage, okay, and roasted meat. So hopefully that will keep her happy. Um, have we got anything we need to sell in our inventory? We got a bucket. We found some wine and some bits on the way here, but nothing particularly amazing. No. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with my horse riding expedition. And I will be trying to see if I can um, find myself some other workers on the way. I, th I think I've been to everywhere last time round, but I'm probably going to try and do another bit of a lap here and see if we can find anyone who's good at production um, possibly another farmer I realize I've still got two spots for ladies um, another farmer would be great because we can put another farmer down working on the new food fields anyway I'll bring you back in if I find someone decent if not I'll meet you back at the village Aha, we are at Len Len Lenska and we have found a production person. She's not that wonderful at anything else, but How production is she is. And we can even just recruit her from on the horse. So she can go straight to work as well. Um, again, you just whack her in with a random fella. They don't seem to mind. Um, I would have thought, you know, they would have been a bit more particular in even in that day and age, but hey, who am I to judge? Um, and we'll stick her straight in with the cooking. And that should get that production up and running, because uh, that should mean that you are working on roasted meat, sorry, and on meat with gravy, keeping people fed. And that has significantly increased our production on that front. So I wouldn't mind finding another farming type um, or or another. Um, that lady was actually a person. Another farming type or um, production type. You are neither really. You're a hunter, 
And I think this is where I got to start looking around at whether I can, um, like, if I sort by profession. Who are my current hunters? You see, I've got. Well, there's no way I'm putting either of those on production now. They're they're like top-notch hunters. Screw that. Um. So I'm not doing that. I'm just not gonna. Um, let's have a quick look. Sorry, before we go anywhere here, let's have a quick look what they're selling as to whether or not they're. They sell the large saddlebags that I'm going to be after. Um, you do not. Have a good day. Um, what about you? Hello, stranger. You, no, no. What? Hello, stranger. I need to run. Goodbye, be good. Sir. Okay. Um, are you? How yeah, you. you, you show me your words, sir. You sell planks. Well, trade nice might be in your nature, you. but it was rather disappointing, all in all. Um, and what about you? This looks like Welcome. an extraction hut. So, what do you Only sell? Clay, stone, property. lime, blah. Okay. It was nice seeing you. It was. I thought so. Okay. So with that, I'm going to carry on my mission round. See if I can find any more recruits. I might need to build up another house. Uh, but I'm probably just going to do a lap still and see if I can find some more people. And then next episode, we can get the barn up. Like I said, I'm not particularly worried about it at the moment because it's not going to hurt our food supply for next year. Um, you know, the, over the winter, they can knock that up and um, it'll be ready for running onions in the, in the spring. Um, other than that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe as always, and we'll leave the wolves in our dust. See you later.